Hey guys, so it's requested that I create a tutorial on collabs and how to cut them, put them together, all that jazz. Um, I'm sorry if I start rambling, I've already tried to do this and it ended up in a disaster. But basically, uh, hosting a collab is really pretty simple. You pick the song you want, you pick the theme, and you're good to go. So, for example, I'm gonna, for my example, I'm going to say we're doing a multi-couples um, collab and you're going to just upload a part video and people will comment and go part one with this couple and you'll go yours and then you'll just add it to the description. Um, otherwise alternate ways are to do auditions and you upload a little snippet and put audition now and people just put in the comments um, their list of couples and stuff and then you can pick who you want to be in it and then you know how many parts to cut but let's just for the sake of this say um, we're just going to make each part 15 seconds long. I don't know why. Actually, no, let's go 10. 10 seconds long. 10.10, because .10, it's perfect. Um, so what you do is you pick the length. I mean, if you've got a certain number to cut, you basically would do maths, figure out how much 3 minutes 48 is in seconds. It's probably like um, 228, I think. Um, can't do maths. And then you divide that by how many parts you did. So you need 15 parts, 228 divided by 15. See what that is. And that's how many seconds each part would be. But um, if you don't care how many parts you're cutting it into, you can literally just do it to the song, really. So I'm going to pretend, I don't know why that's not there, that it's just going to be 10.08. This down here tells you how much... Um, how long this little highlighted section is, it's very useful in cutting collabs. So I'm going to say this is part one. And if we press R on the keyboard, it'll bring up this little green section thing, which is a region. And I will explain later why this is useful in collabs. But basically, it helps you divide the whole song up. So this will be part one, obviously, so it's number one. And then we do it again. Let's do 10.10 because .10, that's what it was. And then if you zoom in, I try and put it on the beats if there's a beat song because I just think it flows better. Um, if you do that, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, how you do it. Um, but let's say let's just say this a bit longer. It's like it depends how fussy you are, but I don't tend to make each part exactly the same size because I'm lazy and I'd prefer it to flow better than that. Um, but this is it. Basically, keep going to the whole song is cut. I'm not going to do that because that will take forever. And then if you're making the part video to upload, click literally text, drag it on. What should we type? Part 1. No, let's do it in capitals because I'm a freak. And stretch that out for the whole of that region. It will nicely snap to it because it's easy. Um, obviously we change this to part 2. And all I'm doing is control C, control V, copy and pasting. Make sure you click create a new copy of the source media, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, and etc, etc. You do that for the whole thing. Now, once you've done the whole video, you would highlight the whole thing, render it as normal for the video part. For individual MP3 parts, the quick way to do it is uh, tools, scripting, batch render. Now, batch render works if you've done the region way, which is highlight, press R, and you'll get these little green things all the way through. And this way you can click render regions, you click MP3 audio plus, click one of these options, whatever one you want. I usually go for this, don't know why, just do highest quality, VBR, stereo, whatever that means. Um, and then you click OK, and it renders them out. Oh, I've already done this earlier. Um, and you press OK, and then you can go in and rename them part one, part two, part three, etc. It's really simple, makes it a lot quicker, easier. Once you've got these parts, um, it like it means that you could highlight them all and put them into like a zip folder or just upload them to SendSpace or something, Mediafire, SendSpace, any kind of site that people can get them from. Um, also, lots of people these days, including myself, um, ask people to add colorings because um, it turns out quite nicer if everyone adds the coloring themselves to each part because adding it to the clip is better than adding it to the track. Um, so you just upload a little colouring file that you see when you download other people's. Add that, people can add it, if they can't then it doesn't matter. And that is that. That is how you cut it and ready. Um, and then once you've got the parts, this is a collab we started ages ago and we did not finish. My fault. 
Um, this is them put together, but here is, um, I'm going to stretch this out because basically when I do my collabs I ask people to leave a gap at the beginning and at the end so that I can fade them into each other. So you'd get a part like this, you'd find the relevant region, so this is part 13 I know because I took out the thing earlier, zoom in and this is where you match the waveforms, fun times. Drag this over, obviously you know that this is meant to start here, so that's your basic. You can see that pointy bit matches here, it's just a case of matching it up. And then, because I asked them to stretch it out, we don't want to leave it like this because that's just going to look weird. We want to make sure it flows to the song, to the beats and stuff, this fade, to shorten it um, as, as needed, I mean you kind of guess, and highlight, see if it fades into the next part, okay? Pretty, I don't want that and that's pretty much it. Do that for a whole thing. If you want to, you can add um, watermarks uh, for each individual person. Again, you just pick a font, pick a thing. Um, let's say I'm just put my name in. It's not my part. Um, and make it smaller. Let's say you'd pick your font. I'm just going to stick with Arial because why not? Say so just want to put it in the corner, we drag this in, and then you just copy and paste this into each one. Change the username, so username goes here, and adjust it accordingly to match this. And then that's the whole thing, really. And that's is literally as simple as it gets. Putting collabs together is easy. Um, getting all the parts in, that's when difficulty comes in. Messaging people and all that jazz, but... <laughs> That's just life, really. Um, but there, that's basically it. Collabs are really easy. If you've got any other questions, please just ask. I know I'm the worst at explaining things, like the worst. Um, but I think that's all I've got to say. I hope this helps someone. Um, and I'll see you guys soon.